What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today we have the sneaky Arab bussy Myron Gaines, who's also a failed content creator because he has no emotional control <laughs> in the crosshairs today because he's under fire for his recent comments having to do with Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. If you don't know what happened with that, I suggest you go ahead and look it up because you are living under a rock. But we're going to go ahead and go into this short clip. It's not full context, but I will talk about the context after we get done with it. And then I will give my thoughts. Of course, I would love for you guys to give yours. Let's get it. You try to run up on me. This is Florida, bro. I will literally Zimmerman, Zimmerman your Trayvon Martin bitch ass. Okay. I will Zimmerman your stupid ass. So come on over. Try me. So you guys heard that right there. And that's not the full extent of the clip. Actually, what happened was I believe Myron, you know, he started a space. You know, Myron has a very smart mouth. And I think he probably said something racial in the first place. The guy basically said he'd come down to Florida and he pew pew him in the mouth if he uh, said that ish to him. And then uh, Myron, you know, Myron began on his racial tirade, calling him a uh, a hard R, showing out for another white woman that was in the chat or in the space rather. You know, continually uh, talking about, you know, that this is what they do. This is how they are. This is what they do. All this kind of crap. Then the guy said, uh, you know, I, I, I'd actually probably like to come down there and put hands on you for real. And I think that uh, I think, to be honest, man, while, you know, while, you know, maybe it's not right. But I feel like I feel like a lot of people would, wouldn't mind putting hands on Myron. He talks too much and he can't really back it up. He's like, you, you talk way too much trash for you to not be getting hands put on you by somebody you deserve to have the hands but uh you know as far as you know say, saying something as crazy as i'll pew pew you in the mouth and all that that was a little too much but then what myron did was come back and say he would he would hit you with the george zimmerman he would hit you with the george zimmerman he g trayvon martin you which i don't understand why he needed to come out with that of all things, he could have just simply said, yeah, I'll defend myself. This is Florida, as he was saying it earlier. This is Florida, bro. I'll defend myself. I got the license to carry or whatever. You better watch your step threatening me. That's all he had to say. And that would be much more respectful. But Myron, of course, him and uh, Fresh, well, not really Fresh, more so him. They've been doing a kind of reverse content strategy as they did, in, you know, when they were first successful, which was, you know, try to play into a... Uh, being a, the cool, quote-unquote, black guys, fresh wearing chains, having a McLaren, having, you know, various exotic cars, Myron faking he's black, saying the N-word, this, that, and the third, talking trash about black women, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Like, that, that's not nothing I think that, well, that, that's something some black men like, but not all of them. But, uh, you know, that's what he was, uh, that's what they were doing. But now they're kind of leaning into it the other way where, they talk trash about black people and then they're trying to get the attention of all the other non-black people that are inter interested in this type of stuff. And specifically, Myron likes to talk a lot about black Americans. So I guess he thinks that he can get, uh, you know, he can get the Jamaican people in there and the Haitian people in there. But it doesn't seem like all of them are really on board with it. So uh, Myron's just kind of just, uh, you know, he's in purgatory and content purgatory. I feel sorry for them because they're, you know, they, they have so much money at their disposal. And now, now they're over here struggling on Rumble, telling folks, yeah, join, join Frank Castle, join Frank Castle Club. And, you know, it's looking real pathetic out here for them. They was making so much money. And Myron, it's funny that he said so much stuff about, you know, hard R's not having any emotional control and ba basically being overgrown children and stuff like that. Bro, you're, you're that. You're that. You're the whole reason why your bag is ruined. If I was fresh out, I want to fight you every single day until I get my bags worth out of you, dog. You deserve to be fought every day by your content creator buddies. Fresh, Chris, all of them, all of them need to jump you one good time, bro. <laughs> one good time. But, uh, you know, that just that just kind of, uh, you know, that, that whole thing that he said, the whole racist tirade and all that kind of stuff that Myron said, it, it, just, it just further lets me know he's not black. I don't want to hear any little... Everybody need a chance now. Bussy types trying to say, "Oh yeah, man, Myron's black. He's black." Like, uh, like, like that uh, one dude that used to be subscribed. He he ain't subscribed no more because <laughs> he was on some bussy time. But yeah, uh, he used to be trying to say that Myron was black, and you know there are black Arabs and all this kind of stuff. Bro, watch out, man. Why is everybody trying to 
like trying to include black like these people that into our race. Like uh like like Black Light Revelation says, we're not a genetic dumpster. You know, everybody that has like a little ounce of black doesn't deserve to just automatically have a black car. Like like Andrew Tate, he wanted to be people wanted Andrew Tate to be black so bad, but he's not black. Andrew Tate's like he's like a, a eighth black or some shit. I mean, yeah, he has a uh he has a a, ha- a biracial dad who I, who actually looks like a black dude. I guess I you know you would say he's black. He clearly looks black. But Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate, and his brother, you can't tell that there was any ounce of black in their bloodline whatsoever. Andrew Tate looks like a white man from the way that he walks, you know, the way that he talks, you know, some of the little things that uh, that are telling, like uh, you know, the way his chin is shaped. You know, they got that hyoid jaw and all that kind of stuff. They he got that. They both got them horrible calves that, you know, the the W people tend to have. Those unathletic big calves. <laughs> and uh, just, you know, just just the way they talk and act is just like, bro, stop it. If I have if I had look at you and I can't tell right off the bat, oh yeah, you got them black, got them. If I had to look at you and be like, oh yeah, man, maybe you're this, then you're not really black, bro. And Myron is is uh, specifically to me, the things that I would need to to say, oh yeah, man, Myron's an officially black dude. I would need his birth certificate to say, oh yeah, black. And then I'll need to see his parents. And I need them to be like, oh yeah, I am black. Like, you know how Kamala Harris, we're having this whole debacle about Kamala Harris, but her dad and none of of her, her dad's family have came out and said anything about anything. And a lot of times Indian people do look black sometimes. Until you get up on them, you might look at their hair. And then even then, some of them still look black. Like specifically the ladies, because you have some ladies that have uh that you know that wear the hair or something like that. And then you have some ladies, just uh, some black American people just have they just have uh you know that kind of hair. So uh, you know, it's just tough. But uh but Myron Gaines is not black. The things that he's saying shows me that you know not only he is is he a toot up bussy that's uh really, really trying his best to be a white dude, but He's not black, bro. Like you, like bro, you and, and you're and you're caping for somebody that would probably do away with you. What after the whole Trayvon Martin thing, George Zimmerman went around basically, uh, you know, being celebrated. He was on his Kyle Rittenhouse tour, right? You know, he was running around here like, oh yeah, uh, he's a hero and all this kind of stuff. You know, he was selling his guns, and I guess people were selling uh, like targets with Trayvon on it and all this kind of stuff. It was crazy, but. But Myron wants to be like him and, you know, worship him. I wouldn't be surprised if Myron was, was to have him on the show. That'd be crazy work if Myron... And, and, and one thing I, that also kind of kills me is, like, what are these guys that's on his team saying about the things that Myron says? Like, after Myron's already got you demonetized, like I said earlier, Myron just needs to get... He needs a good, a good jumping. Everybody needs to put hands and feet on him. And then maybe he'll straighten up and fly right. But then again, Myron, you know, he is... uh. I'm well, looking forward to bro, so he's gonna immediately pull out the Yapa and then that's gonna be that. But uh Yeah, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about the whole situation? Do you think it was justified what Myron said? No, I don't think it was necessary. I don't think it was necessary what the other dude said in the first place either. At the same time, I'm sure Myron started it by saying something crazy, racist, and smart. And uh, but you know, in, in the end, everybody's wrong. But yeah, that's it for the video right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments below. If you watched up to this point, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.